Welcome to My Backyard. I'm Joe, this is My Backyard, and we're here today to do some really cool visual effects inside of Camtasia 2020. So uh, today we're gonna show you how to make a really cool wave. Um, and uh, this is gonna be a neat effect if you want uh, to sort of carry your view viewer through a, uh, a lot of narration that doesn't have a ton of visual interest. Um, you could use this effect to sort of keep them engaged. The other way you could use it is if you wanted to do some animations around music. Um, there's a lot of creative possibility with this technique, but I'll show you how easy it is to do entirely in Camtasia. So let's go ahead and dive in. So first thing I'm gonna do is open up the annotations bin. I'm gonna go over to shapes, and I'm just gonna grab a, a circle, and, and really any one is gonna do. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and squish it a bit. And, uh, and you know what, I might even make it a little bigger. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring the opacity down to zero on the fill. Um, I don't need that for this exercise, but I will want the thickness to be increased. So I think I'll probably go up to uh, 20. And in fact, actually I might go to 10 just to keep it conservative here. And, uh, and let's go ahead, once we, once we have our shape about right, which I'll say that looks pretty good to me, I'm gonna copy and paste, and I'm just gonna move this over until I have things looking like they're pretty vi visually intersecting, okay? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and nudge that around until things look about right to the eye. And, uh, and then I'm just gonna repeat this technique. So I'm gonna copy and paste, and I'm gonna move this over again until things look like they're intersecting. I'm not too concerned about you know getting it perfect, but I'll do this technique one more time. Copy, paste, and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure things intersect. Just like that, I have eight little ovals. Now, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna do some track mats because I'm gonna make these look like they're intersecting. So I'll increase the size of my timeline here so you all can see what I'm doing. Bring my, my track size down ever so slightly. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a shape, in this case, a rectangle. I'm gonna draw it from the corner and I'm gonna pull it until I get my little guide, uh, snapping guide that tells me I'm at 50% of my canvas. So now I have this rectangle covering 50% of my canvas. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that as the track mat, okay? So uh, first thing is I'm gonna select the even shapes, so even track shapes, so track eight, track six, track four, track two, group those, and I'm gonna call that uh, evens. And I'll do the same track one, three, five, seven, and call that odds. And what I'm gonna do is move evens up to track three. I'm gonna bring this rectangle down to track four. And I'm gonna copy that rectangle. I'm gonna paste it right into track two. We can go ahead and increase our track height here a bit and reduce our timeline so everybody can see what I'm doing. And now I'm gonna use some track mats. So uh, I'm gonna choose an alpha mat for my first one. So I'm gonna go to track four, right click on the visibility, which is the eyeball. And you'll see I have a number of track mat mode options. I'm gonna hit select alpha for the first and you're gonna see those circles disappear. Well, they are actually showing underneath this track two rectangle. So, or just above, you, you'll see in just a second what I'm describing. And then if I go down to track two, I've got this other rectangle, which these were just the same exact rectangles, just copied and paste. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna do an alpha invert. Okay, so that's going to uh, invert, that, invert that effect that we just did. And just like that, you see that we've created these little waves. Pretty easy, huh? Slick. So now I'm gonna select all of these and I'm gonna group them. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my track mats. Now that I've grouped these, I don't need the track mats. All right, and I'm gonna call this my, uh, my wave source, okay? And, uh, and now I'm just gonna duplicate this a few times. So copy and paste, <clears throat> and I'm gonna move this down. And sometimes it's good just to zoom in. You'll see that things aren't perfectly lined up. And if you really wanna sweat the details, you can go in and, uh, and make sure things look right. For the sake of the example, I'm just gonna keep rolling. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and move the, this. Whoops, I don't want the playhead to move on me. I want everything at, uh, at the first frame here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna make sure things look good. Okay, so that looks pretty nice. So you can see I have these waves going all the way across off the canvas and you can sort of see that it's off canvas because it's that diminished, um, you know, lower opacity white. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna group these up. 
Um, and probably the simplest way uh, to do this animation would be to just apply the animation to all of these. So, you know, before we group them, I'll show you how to do this. So, so there's one less step. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the animations bin and I'm gonna go ahead with all of these waves selected, I'm gonna go ahead and pull down a custom animation and I'm gonna make sure that those go the entire span of the clip. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and make all of these span. Let's go to like, you know, 15, 16, 17 seconds. If I go with each of these animations, I just wanna pull them the full span of the clip. So now that I have my tails pulled down, I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these and I'm just gonna move them down to about here. And let's go ahead and just really quickly play this back. You can see I have this nice little slow animated uh, animated wave. All right, it's pretty basic, you know, but it, you kind of get the gist, so you're able to bring this to life quickly, but there is a really easy way to make this effect uh, pretty, pretty dynamic, so it's simple. I'm gonna go ahead and select all of those groups and I'm gonna group them now. And let's just call this uh, waves. And I'm just gonna move the group over until I get the edge of the group line to the center snap line in Camtasia. Now, I'm just gonna zoom in and watch what happens when I do that move. Now you can see the wave is, is coming from that center line and it's a really cool effect. It almost looks like that line is being drawn um, as, as the wave unfolds. So a really dynamic way to add some expression. Now, if you wanna add this up, amp it up just a little bit, uh, what you could do is just duplicate this wave effect. So I'll copy and paste. And, uh, and you know what I'll do is I'll just move it down ever so slightly. So the second one is down. And now if I play this back, check out how cool that looks. So another cool way you could do this is you could go ahead and move one forward slightly. And uh, in fact, let's make another one. And we'll move that one forward as well. And if we just go back to zero and play, watch how this looks. A really cool effect. You can see how easy it is to achieve. If you wanna even go to the next level with this one, you can start to add some behaviors. You can do some cool fades. Uh, what I'll show you here is there are some neat things you can do with color tint. So if I go to visual effects, I can just start dropping color tints down and, uh, and I can apply different colors with those color tints. So like if I go to the second one here, uh, I'll choose my, my indigo and I'm gonna go ahead and, and make the intensity 100 and intensity 100. And on this last one, I might actually remove the effect so you have the white and, uh, and just check out how easy it is to make this really dynamic visual effect. Uh, this is motion graphics and it didn't take long. We're here, uh, we're here doing this just nice and easily in Camtasia. Uh, you can kind of get a sense of the possibilities with just a little bit of creative um, you know, exploration. So I hope you learned something in this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if there's a video you're itching to see me make, I'll go ahead and make it. I've got a few more in the docket, but I'm always happy to answer questions. So good luck and enjoy.